This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Ogonoy. This is episode 52 of the podcast. Thank you very much for listening. And I'm back after a long radio silence in the podcast. Thank you for bearing with me. This episode right here is part of my feature on Cosplay Tanabata 7, which happens to be its last Cosplay Tanabata in Baguio City. Uh, I'll tell you more than uh, about that, you know? uh, but first, uh, again, uh, we've been through a lot of things. We've been through World Cosby Summit, ngayon, diretso tayo sa Cosby Tanabata 7. And by September, I'll be giving you a hint that I'll be moving to an, uh, the platform that, uh, yung, uh, let's say, yung blog natin. I'll be moving my blog to a different platform by September. Siguro by October, it's fully uh, fully functional na, no? But I'll be doing a beta phase muna, of course, as with everything, as with the transition of uh, the platforms. Because uh, it's, it's time for me to grow up from the medium platform going into uh, the work press platform back again and I'm excited to do these things na miss kong gawin to sa personal side ko because uh, in, in in a sense I've been maintaining our uh, WordPress websites before uh, and that will be one thing that will be coming up in the next few months kasi will be transitioning from this small project eh, why not gawin natin tong uh, side hustle it's age of content everybody can do content maybe it's time for me to decide upon this eh, syempre eh, maikli lang naman ang buhay we have one life eh, let's make uh, good use of it and we ha- only have one platform uh, actually we have three platforms ano? of course we have Anchor we have YouTube, Facebook and we have the medium as our blog platform so uh, i at least i gave i gave you a hint of what's uh, going to happen in the next few months so we will go back to uh, episode 52 with a guide on how to actually get to baguio for those who haven't been to baguio uh, you can go to victory liner if you're from the east and north side yung mga taga quezon city mga valenzuela mga taga Pasig side, you can go to Victory Liner right away. And Victory Liner offers uh, bookings online at least a week before you actually move. Kasi uh, kung within the week na yung uh, galawan mo, if, for example, you're going out on a Friday, next week you have to book it parang around a week's time before, a week before. Kasi sinasara nila online bookings pag one week na. So, every every booking so far, na, every available trip schedules, except for the week that you're supposed to, are available online at victoryliner.com. And that's how I did my the rest of my bus trips. Uh, of course, may convenience piyan, pero hindi na kayo pupunta diretso na Victory Liner. No? Uh, they have offers there, pero uh, it's up to you to go to the uh, nearest Victory Liner terminal. But, if you're from the south, Pangasinan Solidar Transit offers point-to-point bus from the Pitex to Baguio and Baguio to Pitex. And they're rolling it out right now. So, uh, mabilis na nga. Siguro, if we're talking about P2P point-to-point, wala nang stopovers to eh. I believe. Wala nang stopovers. So, you might as well go to Pitex and check out the Baguio P2P if you are coming from the South Las Piñas, Pasay, Paranaque, and of course, iba naman yung Kamanawa area, Victory Liner yan eh. But yeah, uh, there are two ways to get to Baguio if you're from Metro. So, uh, that's one thing and uh, there are many places where you can stay in Baguio, one of which is Station 120. The bedded bath at Station 120 costs around originally 600 pesos, but you can get it at Agoda around 500s. 
uh, per night and uh, yung pad na, uh, if if we're talking about the 500 pesos it's, it's a bed and electric fan just just perfect for ano just just okay para dun sa uh, kung mga parang quick stay mo uh, kung tutulog ka lang you get you get the 600 uh, pesos pad and then shared CR na rin yun so uh, yun. Another thing about Station 120, they also have uh, specific rooms. You can check out their, uh, you can check out, you can Google them Station 120. Bed and bath at Station 120 po. Uh, that's where I stayed for siguro the last day of my trip to Baguio before I go back to Manila. Ang ganda nga eh. It's because it's in the city and it's, uh, it's quite a walk from... SM City Baguio pero uh, in a few steps away medyo may kalayuan you can actually go to Burnham Park you can actually go to Session Road and speaking of which uh, it's a Sunday when we start recording this yung Session Road po is sarado yung pataas na side so it's everything pababa pababa side until 9 pm yan and yeah it's, 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 I think uh, I think it's uh, it's a it's a uh, time to actually climb or hike Mount Session Road and they, I mean joke. <laughs> Ayan. So really really uh that's another uh, attraction. Ilan lang naman ang attraction sa Baguio so far eh, if you're going to search online pero Mines View Park is there medyo malayo siya sa akin. So I stayed within the city, Burnham Park, Session Road, Abanao Square, SM City Baguio and yeah. Na namili na rin ako ng pasalubong. So, good times. Now, we will talk about the event and uh, the Cosplay Tanabata 7. Uh, it's their 7th edition of the festival. No? And they held it at a different venue compared to the previous venues where they held it. Kasi last January, I went to the FBR Gymnasium and it's quite the walking distance from Victory Liner Terminal and SM City Baguio, it's quite nice. Kasi kahit pa paano, eh, kahit, kahit long walk siya, parang hindi mo ramdam na long walk eh. It's, magkakalapit lang yung mga yan eh. Compared to Newtown Plaza, which in uh, in case you, uh, in case to, to check out the distance, you have to actually go and rent uh, a hail a taxi. Ang taxi nila doon, hindi yung taxi na taxi. Ang taxi nila doon, parang FX. But you don't call it FX there. You don't call it a Tamaro FX. It's a taxi. And since Baguio has aircon uh, everywhere, eh, they don't need to turn on their ACs. So, yeah. It's, uh, ang maganda lang sa ano, compared to the rising rates of uh, rent a cars, mga grab, mga taxi dito sa Manila, half ang babayaran mo. Kumbaga, if you're paying 150 here, you just pay around 50 pesos uh, from the event venue back to the uh, city proper. Mga 50 to 80 pesos. Depende, depende sa distance, of course. Pero ang flat rate nila dun is 35 nowadays. And, yeah. Uh, yun, yung ano. Uh, that, at least I gave you a way on how to deal with the taxi. So, hindi siya ano, kumbaga parang bibigyan ka ng hingi, pwede ka humingi ng resibo and all that. And, uh, I'm happy with the experience there sa Baguio. Kasi, uh, if you're talking about traffic, yes, there's still traffic, pero, uh, it's quite the same as traffic in either Cebu or Davao, pero not as bad as Manila. Manila's traffic is always bad. It's the peak bad of all bad traffic in the Philippines. <laughs> Enough with the political chit-chat. Um, event again is held in the Newtown Plaza Event Center. Kaharap lang po niya yung hotel in which I also stayed. Thank you very much. Uh, the, uh, this event is held in the upper level of the convention center kasi ang event center has two areas I think yung sa baba is a ballroom and the upstairs is the convention hall so to speak so yes it's uh, if I were to compare the size of it siguro Megatrade 2 will fit 
Yeah, siguro Mega Trade Hall 2 is uh, we're good with the the size of Mega Trade Hall 2. I'm not sure with the exact size of the event venue, pero it's an event venue. It's a good event venue. It's really good. I mean, uh, sabi nating pwedeng uh, Mega Trade 1, Mega Trade 2. I think Mega Trade 2 is the biggest. Mega Trade 1 siguro. Yan. We set the expectations uh, fairly <laughs> fairly um, minimal muna no. So yun ano, pero it's it's, uh, it's spacious. It's spacious to me. Mataas ang ceiling nila and uh, you can fit in a lot. And uh, one thing that I noticed about these events uh, outside the, the metro. Kasi sa Metro Manila, we have this boot systems called Octanorm na uh, isa ilan lang distributor ni dito or I think isa lang eh no. Um, the other places don't uh, can, uh, somehow can't afford the uh, to have octanorm with them so uh in my case kasi hindi, we don't have that boot system na uh, white yung mga puti tapos parang bakal-bakal uh, that's octanorm ano? and the activities there are uh, well managed so kumbaga balance sila kasi on the first day we have the karaoke contest we have the fashion show courtesy of the Philippine Gothic uh, Lolita community. Uh, we also have the Orihimen Hikoboshi. Uh, this is a contest, uh, Miss, kung baga parang, let's call it the Mr. and Miss contest of cosplay Tanabata. It's a tradition. And on the second day, we have the cosplay day. Solo and the tandem cosplay uh, competition. And then, kung sino man nanalo dun sa day one na karaoke contest, they will perform on day two. And napansin ko, so far, so far, is that yung il, some cosplayers actually uh, have two sets of costumes. So for the event, they have two sets. They have something to wear on day one, something to wear on day two. And yeah, it's amazing. Kasi ak- akalaan mo yun, nakikipagpicture na ako sa mga ano, day one. Nakikipagpicture na ako. And then I thought, okay, sino to? The following day. Oh, oh, sino to? <laughs> Really, since I've been in the organizers, Baguio is a tight knit community. It's it's small in a sense na makikilala at makikilala ka by face, by name, or by how you work. And I'm uh, yun yun yung mga gusto natin community sa eh. hindi masaya malaki like the old times. <laughs> so yun ano um. The whole event spans from 10.30 to 6pm. Provincia pa rin kung tutusin ng uh, Baguio. C- the city, that is the city of Baguio, but it's still in Benguet province. And the only active uh, spot right there is yung c- uh, city proper na the center, which is Session Road. Yeah, may makita ka, may mga 24 hard na fast food dyan. But yeah, the rest is... The rest looks and feels like provincia. With aircon all the way. And I'm I'm ito, ito talaga yung ano eh, uh, off peak season nila eh nung ginanap nila tong uh, uh, event na to eh. Uh, it's off peak season sa Baguio meaning wala masyadong pumupunta sa Baguio at this time. It's rainy season. Uh, so nobody schedules cosplay events. I think nobody schedules cosplay events during the summer season except it for uh, malls. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Ah. Verify natin info niyan sa mga organizers. Uh, kung, uh, yun, not, pero really, uh, I am amused. I, I actually want to stay for more than a week there. I actually want to work there. Kasi iba yung opportunity sa bag, iba yung opportunity sa Manila. But then again, uh, we have to go back to reality. And uh, proceeding with that, uh, we have uh, yung mismong event. I talked about the cosplayers earlier, no? And uh, of course, there uh, we go now to day two, cosplay day. And, and dami mga cosplayers na dumating on that day. Mas marami pa nung uh, kesa sa day one. But here's the thing. The only thing that I realized na na wild ang Baguio cosplay community is uh, is when I saw a lot of skits 
na, na talagang is either action pack or talagang tulakan kung tulakan and what not and kung ano, talaga sobrang wild eh. they, they they really go all out in their skits uh, Cosplay Tanabata 7 is my reflection of the Baguio's cosplay community in which nakikita mo nag uh, sabi ko sabi nga kanina magkakakilala lang tayo dito sinusuportahan natin ng isa't isa and then when you're on stage it's like wow yun yung yun yung masayang feeling eh. setting setting other things aside yung yung feeling na connected ka sa you're you're, you're kasi you're a, uh, you're a small community and the fact na uh, iilan-ilan lang kayo again you know people by face by name or how or by their cosplays in in which case uh solid solid tayo solid tayo diyan and really ang um, kinaganda ng uh, community is that they love memes they really really love their memes they really do so much uh, na I went wild during the concert. Nakuna na ako on video. And some, yun nga, sabi ko nga si Marco, he made photoshops and all that. He made memes. So, really, really. And uh, I'll be detailing more of this on my videos that will be shown on YouTube, on Facebook. And at the moment, as I produce this uh, episode, I'm already creating my narrative, ano? So, kung tinatamad kayo makinig or gusto nyo basahin yung uh, points ko, of course, kasi iba naman yung uh, nakikipag-usap ako sa inyo as you listen, nakikip- as iba yung, nung, iba yung uh, nagbabasa kayo. Uh, I'll, I'm already doing these things na. So, uh, before we continue, we will take a break and uh, mention ko lang yung ibang events na napuntahan natin within this week. August 24 was Misaki Con 2019 at Lucky Chinatown Mall and uh, bigla lang ang pagpunta ko dyan. But, but, nandyan yung mga kilalang mga cosplayer that also produce their own cosplay prints, their own gravure prints. And nagugulat ako eh, how, how in the world they got these people? I mean, they, they are people of culture. Is, is, this is on a positive note, ha? Kasi, at, at last, yung mga nakikita ko sa Facebook feed ko, I can see them in person. I can greet them in person. And it's, it's a great feeling. It's a good feeling. Uh, of course, may mga fans tayo dyan na bumili ng uh, sarili ng prints. Some cosplayers uh, had their prints sold out kasi tama lang yung pag-print nila. Sakto lang. Sakto lang. And... Uh, the of course eh, hindi natin na uh, papalampasin yung uh, fact na nandiyan din yung MNL48 so MNL48 was there and buti na abutan ko pa sila yun nga lang at the last few minutes of their stage time <laughs> so that's uh, how MisakiCon works MisakiCon is actually part of Lucky Chinatown's Asian Fest Ep- uh, Epic X uh, uh, tama ba? Asian uh, Fest Epic Con. And uh, I think it's a parang a gathered uh, event series ng mga iba't ibang mga orgs. Uh, and the venue is Chinatown, uh, Lucky Chinatown Mall in Binondo. So, yeah. Uh, that's Misaki Con 2019. I'm glad to be there after a long time. Ang tagal ko na hindi nakakating sa mga Misaki Cons. Moving on, uh, at the same day, may event sa Marilao, Bulacan, which was Cosplay Idol Season 5. You can check out Naruto Cosplayers for that. Uh, marami mga cosplay crazy. Eh. Um, it's basically tech month sa SM Super Malls, and they are holding their own cosplay events. Uh, quite, uh, Pero yung, of course, eh, iba yung SM Cyberzone cosplay craze na organized by Cosplay.ph compared to the mall-organized cosplay crazes. Kasi meron sa Bulacan, meron din sa Baguio. At this moment, uh, I think tapos na yung uh, cosplay event sa SM Baguio, eh, cosplay contest, sa, ano, which is also called cosplay craze. Uh, and siguro uh, may marami pa mga uh, magaganap na mga events. So I'll go through the list. 
uh, there is this call to cosplay event at SM Tai Tai on August 31 and at the same weekend Pesa Fanime 2019 is going all the way to September 1 at SMX Manila uh, ito na yung sinasabi ko na September uh, events cosplay craze ng SM Cyber Zone sa SM South Mall September 7 and September 14 to 15 I'm invited to visit Collecticon at Mega Trade Hall 2 of SM Mega Mall uh, also on September 21 to 22 at Chendesitas Otaku Musica Festival 2019 their second run and in Baguio Ole there's this first North Hobby Expo September 26 to 28 at the Baguio Country Club Cordillera Convention Hall Camp John Hay and let's not forget Cosplay Mania 2019, September 28 to 29 at SMX Manila. See you there, especially. I'll be seeing you specifically at the Boiled Curry Meet and Greet. That is my promise. October, we have the Mindanao Cosplay Summit at SM Lanang Premier Davao City, free admission, October 6 to. And aside from Reika, she is bringing with her, uh, I believe, two more cosplayers from her company, 12 Company. Because Reika is not just a cosplayer, not just the costume crafter, not just a consultant to the WCS in the Philippines, not just a uh, resident uh, judge. She's she's managing her own company, which is 12 Company. Uh, I believe it's this is together with Kaname, uh, if anyone remembers Kaname. Uh, and they basically handle management of cosplayers to other events. So, kumbaga... If you want to get to the cosplayer, if you want to invite a cosplayer, 12 Company will assist that for you. So, might as well. Might as well check them out. Uh, Batcon at Eton Centris in Quezon City on October 19 para sa mga Batman fans. Naruto Day 2019 sa V-Mall Lobby ng Green Hills, San Juan for Naruto fans on October 13. Cosmic Con 2019 uh, on November 19 to 20 at Ayala Mall's South Park, Muntinlupa, just near Star Mall. Uh, Muntin Lupa. Tama, no? Starmal Alabang, rather. And ESGS, October 24 at SMX Convention Center, Mall of Asia, SMX Manila. I'll be there. November is Coslandia from November 1 to 3 at SMX Aura, Taguig City. Comic Con Grande will be on November 28 to 24 at Bayanian Center. And uh, on December, uh, we will have Ozin Fest Anime Figure Special 2019 from this, uh, 26 to 27 December at Mega Trade Hall. Cosplay Matsuri from December 28 to 30 at SMX Manila. So, sunod-sunod na mga cosplay events yan. What up? Uh, depende na lang kung taga-east kayo, taga-central kayo, or taga-north kayo, or taga-south kayo. Uh, it's your event. Oh, by the way, may gagawin daw na Halloween special si Ozine this October. So, do check their Facebook page out. Kakatapos lang nila ng Tanabata Festival, which unfortunately coincides with the Cosplay Tanabata 7. So, uh, last few parts ng ating uh, feature on Cosplay Tanabata. Uh, siguro, I'll share to you a clip from... Uh, one of the messages from one of the hosts who has been who is also part of the organizing team, si Lalin. Uh, we will call her Laura. Keepsakes. Ngayon, ang maganda na ng mga booth 
I think that summarizes yung feeling na it's it's been a while since they held their tanabata and I'm happy to witness such kind of event na kung saan connected kayo and really it's it's a good thing it um kasi sa ibang mga bansa yung mga cosplay events they hold it at hotels talaga so this gives this gives me that kind of feeling I was wondering if you are able to hear it clearly, and no? pero yeah, the, I checked. Uh, I hope I checked it uh, well. Pero that was Laura, uh, or should we say Lalin? Uh, she's one of the event hosts and the part of the organizing team. Very, kumbaga pang hindi ko alam kung nagiyakan tama mga to eh. because they said it's the last cosplay na bata, and really. My first and the last, <laughs> so parang I'm very thankful for the opportunity that was given to me. And uh, moreover than that, eh, siguro uh, if they will be organizing another cosplay event, siguro I'll be there in advance na. Yung hindi na ako pupungay pungay unlike what happened to me in January. Kasi pupungay pungay talaga ako noon. I slept in the afternoon <laughs> at one of the at one of the benches in the, in the PFVR uh, gymnasium no? during cosplay bong kasay mo. Talagang antok ako so I have to go back to Manila again. <laughs> so, yun, ano? Um, uh, that said, uh, siguro, I, if, may mga, marami akong mga bagay na hindi na-mention dito sa podcast na maari ko bang i-mention on either the blog or either YouTube, on Facebook, on video. So, watch out for those features. And siguro, ang next activity natin is we're going to have an event. Again, we're going to have a Keepsakes Live at Dungeon Akiba on September 21st, Saturday. 
Ah, uh, diyan diyan tayo so magsisimula sa uh, ano, yung kaninang inannounce ko kanina na patikim ko for the next few months. Yeah, and we'll start from there and we'll see where this goes. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes the podcast. New episodes can be heard at anchor.fm/keepsakes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Leave your voice messages to this podcast through the Anchor app available on Google Play and App Store. Don't forget to visit me on social media for updates. Facebook.com slash Keepsakes by Jay, Twitter at Jay Agonoy, YouTube.com slash Jay Agonoy, and my blog at www.jayagonoy.xyz. Shout out to Lee Rosie Bear for the music. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. Until next time.